What's going on guys, Ryan with Death Patrol, back with another video. Today, we're gonna to talk about Hot Toys Peacemaker. Yeah. That's right guys, Ryan back with another video. Today, we're gonna to talk about the Hot Toys Peacemaker announcement. And I know this is incredibly odd like what why <laughs> i as somebody who is not the greatest um dc films e dc eu dc cinematic universe I, whatever 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 it's called um like the, like the dc films just don't hit, don't I like the marvel stuff right like star wars stuff like that um but uh i incredibly uh, or I was incredibly surprised by Peacemaker. It was a great show. I enjoyed the heck out of it, which I found very uh, odd because there were I, there were some DC fanboys out there who did not like Peacemaker, but um, and that's fine. You can like whatever you want. Um, I just found it incredibly entertaining, uh, and I found that most of the episodes were pretty fun. It was a fun show, and it came like the day after the drop of the Book of Boba Fett show, which... And all, for all intents and purposes, it was a pretty much a letdown for the majority of the episodes. There were some good highlights in there. But for the, like the overall series, Peacemaker was more fun, was more entertaining than The Book of Boba Fett, which pains me to say because I'm uh, a huge Star Wars fan, huge Fett fan. But um, it is what it is. Uh, Hot Toys went out and decided to announce or uh, and preview the uh, you know the Peacemaker figure. So I figured we'd talk about that here, give, give you my thoughts. So I'm going to load up some photos here. We're gonna talk about this guy. Number one on the list has got to be has got to be the head sculpt. I mean, there's, there's really no way to get around this head sculpt situation, right? So we got a head sculpt. We got two interchangeable helmets. We get a magnetic tongue that we've seen with like Venom uh, or a Venomized Groot. We've seen the magnetic tongue action thing going on. I'm I'm okay with the magnetic tongue thing going on. That I don't have a problem with that. What I do question is. The, the the small, like, very small likeness to John Cena. Like, very small. Uh, so we watched the show. It was, like I said, it was a great show. Most of the time, he was not wearing his helmets. Most of the time, right? So we don't have a uh, we don't have an un unhelmeted head sculpt, which is a, a sad thing, honestly. I think, um, and I know there are third party uh, uh, custom you know, people out there making uh, John Cena head sculpts, and that's fine. Uh, I, I personally don't feel like spending the extra money, uh, as good as those are. Um, I, I, you know, it's, it's not for me, and I think Hot Toys should just really just add one. So I'm going to reserve a little bit of judgment on Hot Toys on the head sculpt situation, and we'll we'll hopefully when it's actually released, it will be better than it is. Maybe they'll surprise us with an unhelmeted sculpt, although I think unlikely. I know a lot of people are going, "Well, there's a license issue, WWE license this and license that," and that may very well be true. I don't know. Um, it's all, you know, I, just a guess. I don't know. Um, but what I do know is what they gave us is. It really limits the posing and shelf presence of the of the figure, right? Uh, so, like, you're gonna have him. How do you have him in like a, a serious museum pose? Like, if you wanted to do that, if you didn't want to, you are forced to do a dynamic pose, which brings me to another issue we're gonna get to in a second. It forces you into a dynamic pose because you just can't have him standing there, like, yelling at I don't know. Harley or, you know, whoever you got for your Suicide Squad, if you plan on doing that. Um, it is very, very strange situation with that. And then the, the switch out helmets are fine. Although I don't, based on the photos I've seen, I've seen preview photos of, of the figure at Secret Base. Uh, and then obviously the promo photos they, they've given us. Um, it, why didn't they make it like the Chrome, like the uh, the upcoming Deluxe Mando? Why, why didn't they not have that high gloss, high sheen, metallic Chrome look on these helmets? Um, I think, I think that's a miss. I, I'm not really pleased with that. It's kind of like, uh, I, I, they clearly have the ability to do it. I just don't know why they didn't do it, but here we go. We've got him in a dynamic pose, kind of, we got Eagly, which arguably could be one of the best accessories in 2022. Could be, 
We'll see. We've had some pretty cool accessories already, uh, but 2022 accessories Eagly is is way up there. The suit material looks like it's going to be fine for posing. Uh, some of the uh, armor pieces on the on the suit look like they're rubber, which you know are going to limit some posability in this figure. I think. In the, or pleathery style material, right? And they're going to stretch, they're going to crease, they're going to do what they're going to do. And I'm okay with that, but I know a lot of you are not. So I wanted to bring that up here. I think there's going to be some limits to what a lot of people are going to be able to do with this. Um, it doesn't look like to me, like it's like a Spider-Man type material, uh, like we saw with maybe the homemade suit, no, I'm sorry, the homecoming uh, upgrade suit. That, that spider material. This looks like a thicker material. Um, and then we've got these gloves, which are way too glossy. I, mean, I guess they're reflecting a light a lot. I don't know. I want to like this figure. I want to, but I'm having a hard time liking it right this second. I just don't understand the decisions that Hot Toys is making. One, I'm glad that you're making it. That's cool, all right? Because we should have seen it from Suicide Squad, so I guess they just decided to, you know, release it, this one. Um, I'm, I'm glad they're making this figure, but uh, some of the issues just, just don't make any sense. The head sculpt being one. Why and only a screaming head sculpt? Kind of strange, right? You know we got to talk about these single joint elbows. They look ridiculous. The body they use doesn't look large enough for John Cena. I feel like like they should have used like a a, a Fison style body with this guy, so he have the seamless uh, elbows. I mean, look what they did with uh, Hellboy. They created the whole nother, whatever the hell you want to call that for Hellboy. And it is gorgeous. It is fantastic. And they did a really good job with that. And then this, they give us single joint elbows that look ridiculous. The body's not large enough. Um, and the, propor the proportions just don't work. So it's like automatically you're going to buy this. It's going to be 250 some odd dollars, however much it is. And then you automatically, if you are serious about if you're a serious peacemaker fan, um, then you're gonna change it out, maybe like a M35 body or M34, something like that, uh, a larger body to make it look correct, which means you're gonna have to cut and sew, destroy, somehow you're gonna have to get this suit off of this uh, figure. And that's yet to be determined to see how it's actually a, attached to the figure, right? So we won't know that for another year. The single joint elbows is really a, a questionable move. So we got this dynamic screaming head sculpt and that forces you to be action oriented and then get single joint elbows. I'm just tired of that. It's just really getting annoying. I just, I just don't understand the, the decision making there. Uh, the pants look, I mean, whatever. It, it's a very clean suit. Like where's the weathering? So he was always um, getting into something dirty. He just, he just wasn't really pristine a lot of the times in the show. Uh, Eagly looks great. Like I said, the boots look like there's not gonna be a whole lot of range of motion in those boots. So it's like if you got a Star Wars figure with boots and kind of kind of look at that. These look like uh, it's going to be kind of a pain to deal with as well. And um, yeah, I just I don't know. I don't know. I want to like this figure, guys. I'm going to jump over to the accessories real quick. Uh, Eagly is actually pretty awesome that you got to switch out wings. I do like that. America, right? Um, the switch out helmets are fine. The switch out tongue deal, the hatchet, which I and, and the sword I believe is from Suicide Squad, so I don't even think those made an appearance in Peacemaker. Uh, and then his gun is it, like based on the the uh, the description of the figure, uh, it doesn't appear that it's removable from the holster. Now, again, it's a year away. We don't really know. This is just observations made. made uh, based on people seeing the cigar base and whatever, but uh, it doesn't appear to be removable from the holster. I hope it will be, but it could be one of those, you know, DC like weird things where they don't want to show weapons and the whole, I, I don't know. It's really strange. A um, bunch of woke people want, scared of an action figure who runs around shooting people having a gun as an action figure. It's just complete craziness, right? So <clears throat> I think uh, overall, I'm going to I'm gonna be cautiously optimistic on this figure when it's released next year. If they give us what they showed us today, then I don't know that I'll pick it up. We'll see where I'm at a year from now. But like today, there's not a whole lot here that says, man, I got to have that. I'm, I'm really just kind of just like, eh, it's kind of where I'm at with it. But no, that's just me. I'd love to hear from your thoughts in the comment section down below. Let me know what uh, what your thoughts are, because you may love it, and that's fine too, but let me know why. 
Like, don't just say, hey, look, it's a must buy, it's day one, blah, blah, blah. Let me know why you like it in the comment section down below and uh, just share your thoughts. As always, click or enjoy. See you next time.